Hi, my name is Tom and today I want to talk about my new short film that I released like a month ago. A few of you already watched it, a lot of you probably didn't, so um, you're probably just uh, seeing a annotation right now to click on a different video and that's going to be the short film which I'm talking about in this video. So if you haven't seen it, just check it out, it will help you with the context of this video. We're just going to do a sort of director's commentary where I play the video and I'll be uh, commentating it and I will just be talking about the scenes, what happened during those scenes, where I think things went really good, where I think things didn't go as planned or didn't go really well. Um, and just I just want to give you some tips on how to achieve like decent cinematic visuals um, without any lighting equipment and just your skills with the camera basically. All right, so now we are looking at a black screen because I haven't hit play yet. Just so you know um, how many people we were and what was involved in shooting this movie. We were three people. My girlfriend on the other side, the actress, and me on the camera. That's it. So really, really bare bones, really no equipment, no crew basically, except my girlfriend. And yeah, everything more in a run and gun style. And that is basically why we shot a movie like this with like outside locations because the greatest and most cinematic locations are outside because you don't have to like decorate anything you don't have to take your time the things that look real the things that look good are already there and you have the biggest light ever available which is the sun which can be tricky but can also create some really nice shots if you know what you're doing so let's hit play and yeah this is the first establishing shot uh, of this movie. All the B shots you see where the actress isn't there, she wasn't really there because I did this all on a different day. And this is my first tip. If you have actors somewhere and you wanna sh shoot scenes, do those first and do all your B shots later or better than on a different day because you never have time to like have your actors sit somewhere and then you shoot all the establishing shots for the scene. It doesn't make sense. So be sure to have a different day available where you can get some pretty shots that work with the context of like your actors. And here's a good example of like pretty shots that happen when you use the sun. Um, of course, it's a bit blown out here, but I also use the Promus filter. And, but the reverse, I think it looks even better. This is one of my favorite shots from this movie. Um, here you can see it establishes the character really well. I really like how she looks here and how tough she like, is on the phone and talking about business and stuff like that. And um, of course, you have the sun hitting her now from the front. Usually you want to backlight, but in this case, it's just the reverse. And it looks good because the leaves are diffusing the sun. There's also a bit of cloudiness here. So there were clouds everywhere. So you didn't have like complete blue sky, high noon sun hitting her face. So it all worked out really well, which creates a nice contrast. You can see the, the lights hitting her clothing, which creates, creates this nice glow on her um, clothing and on her skin. And um, then you have the leaves. Some of them are like hit by the sun, some are in the shadow. And then you have the sky, which isn't blown out because I was able to like expose it correctly that it all looks pretty and that's why this is one of the prettiest shots in the movie I think or definitely in the intro so let's play it further as you can see the lights are hitting her here are some establishing shots of the dog they are obviously not as pretty because shooting pets or shooting moving things that you can't control really is always hard so just be sure uh, get your shots in take your time but don't take as much time because not everything has to look amazing here is uh, another shot, um, this is the first phone call, and I think it's a decent shot, but we actually wanted it to shoot right here. This is also where we shot the intro, which you saw, but we couldn't because there was actually construction going on. Um, it wasn't in the beginning, or it wasn't relevant in the beginning because I wasn't really using the audio from that. Here, of course, we had to use audio because this is the first dialogue scene. And yeah, we had to move to the other side. We didn't have much equipment, we didn't have a lot of crew, so it wasn't a big deal. But that's the beauty and also the bad thing about shooting a run and guile improvised uh, short film because you never know what happens on that day. And uh, in this case, we just had to move to the other side. And I thought this shot looked okay. It showed like the whole environment with the river and 
all the stuff in the background. And I also actually uh, put some audio. And um, if you watch the video, you can also hear the construction audio, but it's mixed in with construction audio, which I just laid under there. So it wasn't distracting and made sense for the context of this scene. And yeah, it's a bit of a flat looking shot, but uh, all in all, I think this looks still okay. And as you can see, the clouds help us to like have her well lit and not like with like panda eyes and stuff like that. When Because when the sun would be completely on her face and there would be no clouds, her face would be completely in shadow or at least her eyes would look really weird and stuff like that. But now you have a big diffusion box basically over the whole sky and it looks decent. And yeah, there's not much to talk about in this scene. It's just the first call that like establishes her character, how she behaves and how she's annoyed with the whole situation. And yeah, then again, B shots all shot on different days. If you really look at it, you can see the sky looks a bit different sometimes. Here, the sun was out a bit, but still just shoot on a day that looks similar. You can see the clouds again. And here it's cloudy again, because that's the same shoot day where the actress, actress was there. And yeah, this was also kind of improvised. Um, this was all planned on the other side of this like river, but we had to go over here because we couldn't shoot there because there was lots of noise, lots of people. But it's still a decent looking shot. She was actually backlit. I'm gonna go back for a second right here. As you can see, some backlighting uh, separating her from the background. And yeah, this isn't like the prettiest shot, but it worked for the scene. And of course, the dog also looks cute as always. And this was actually uh, a B shot, which I shot um, on a different day where it was raining because now it's raining in the movie. Why is it raining in the movie? Not because it was in the script. Um, we did actually didn't plan for rain at all, but it happened. So what are you going to do? You're going to improvise. And yeah, we had to go to another location. I mean, all this, we had a car available. So we were just driving somewhere deeper into nature where we knew, all right, there's going to be lots of trees and there's still going to be uh, somewhere to sit like a bench. And this bench was actually one of the only ones that wasn't completely drenched in rainwater at this point because um, there were a lot of trees right here and they basically shielded this whole area of being like completely flooded and the bench was actually quite dry so the actress could sit down without ruining her clothing and yeah we improvised that i was really unhappy at that point because i thought all right nothing is going as planned and everything will look completely bad because i couldn't like plan the shots as I wanted to, but I think it actually looked quite okay um, because now you have everything diffused. You still have the backlight from the sun, so you still have some nice contrast here. And she's very evenly lit now because the whole sky is basically a big softbox. And it looks nice with the rain, so you get a bit of, you get a bit of 3D, uh, three-dimensionality. I don't know if that's a, a good word, but yeah. Some of the rain came through, but it was never as heavy where you thought, okay, we have to stop shooting. So my camera got quite wet during the shoot, but for some reason it all worked out and it never got uncomfortable. It was like almost, a, I think a year ago when we shot this movie. And so it was like at the end of September and it was still quite warm. So this is also something you have to keep in mind. This stuff works because it was still like summer uh, if you shot this in the winter uh, or autumn or where it's cold and like not really comfortable, the actor is not going to have fun. You are not going to ha gonna have fun and everyone else involved is not going to have fun. And then everything just goes to shit. So <laughs> make sure uh, you plan uh, for that. Here you can see uh, the squirrel, which of course was not shot on the same day when I shot uh, this scene right here with the dog because... How do you plan for that? You don't. It was just a lucky accident. That's the great thing about shooting outside. You don't have to like CGI everything. You can find stuff that um, makes sense for the scene. Uh, in the script, there was no scroll or something like that. I think the script just said he sees something and just runs off. But here I could establish something new and yeah, show a cute scroll which like made it into the movie 
And yeah, this is the fun stuff about shooting like this because lots of accidents happen that aren't great for you and you want to pull your hair out. But there are also moments like this where you think like, oh, that's great. That really made the movie better. Right. So now we have the scene where the dog runs off. All these shots, this shot was shot on a different day. This was actually shot during the day with the actress because we just had to like call him and he went off screen. And yeah, the rest plays out. Here's another B shot, which was shot on a completely different day. And yeah, now we're establishing sun again, because um, if you watch, watch the movie, um, it's actually now bird sounds and you can see the light is different and it, it's more uh, yellowy, more glowy because the sun is actually coming back out again. So none of this was in the script, but for me, it works. The, the rain is over, she's ready to take a walk with the dog and she sees the dog is gone. And yeah, this, these are the like, lucky ac accidents that make this movie a bit more dynamic than it would have been when it was just sunny all day or rainy all day. And now you have her basically running into the sun, like out of the vegetation again, where like, you have the complete sky available and yeah you can see um, now there's a complete this is how it looks when the sun is really just hitting the actor and you can see all the shadows in the face and stuff like that here it looks still okay but as you can see now the sun is not behind the cloud right there and this is how a shot looks but it's still not as harsh as it could be because we actually have golden hour and uh, she wasn't just running because uh, it was important for the scene. We were all running at this point because we were losing light. And that's the thing. It was the end of summer. It was still warm, but the days were already getting quite short. And we were losing a lot of time because of the rain. And we had to relocate and relocate and relocate because, as I told you, none of the uh, locations that we were initially planning to shoot were available to us so we lost a lot of time because of that and the good thing is the shots look a lot better when I hit play now um, you can see the sun is already quite uh, down and it's hitting her from the side and when the sun is like in this golden hour mode um, you cannot you can't basically do a bad shot because everything looks good this for example looks is a great shot because the sun is helping us uh, at this point because it's not it's not as strong anymore it's way down so it creates long shadows and kind of um, smooth shadows that aren't as harsh when you're shooting like in the middle of the day so everything here all improvised really really fast we just said run down there and yeah show us your emotions you're looking for the dog you can't find him be like scared that he's gone and yeah, this was all shot in like five minutes because we did not have time. <laughs> and yeah, the next shot, as you can see, it's now evening and the sun is almost completely gone. And these were actually the last shots where you could really like use the sun for something. I think it was quite behind here. And this is also a really nice shot. I really like this shot. I mean, you can see the, the tower of Düsseldorf, the Rhine Tower. Um, which I don't know if that's the right uh, translation, but yeah, it gives it a lot of free, di free dimensionality. Still don't know if that's a word, but you have a lot of layers here. You have the beach, you have her, you have the vegetation, and then you have the river and something iconic from uh, my city. So this all worked pretty well, in my opinion. And of course you have her emotions and yeah, these shots look quite good and that's the beauty of shooting uh, everything after golden hour still looks good but then you're gonna fight for light and this is um, the only problem you then have and yeah here another B shot and here I want to talk about something that's also you probably have to do if you do a shoot like this um, the dog uh, will be coming back in a few seconds and of course this shot was shot on a completely different day. And luckily, this is all shot during like very diffused light. We didn't shoot it during the, the golden hour because then you have a very small time frame to like do the same thing and have it look the same when you shoot on a different day. And here you can see 
the dog is coming back and yeah it's a completely different day and if you don't think about it you will never notice it you just you can do a lot with just uh, basic color grading where you just darken the picture and uh, you like try to pull down the sky and stuff like that so I think it works um, if you really look at it closer you see there's still the sun hitting the beach a little bit and yeah here the lighting is almost a bit more bluish but at this point I couldn't really like put them exactly side by side where it looks the same you can also see a lot of noise in her face now I don't know if YouTube will show it but here this is shot at ISO like I don't know 4000, 6000, 400 or something and the reverse shots are all shot at like 6400 or uh, 800 or something like that. So yeah, I could have done here some noise uh, reduction, but then the picture would have been a bit more soft and I didn't want that. And I think it all cuts quite together quite well and it's not really noticeable. But again, this is the stuff that happens. And yeah, now we just watch her one run towards the river and start a new life with her dog. And that's the movie. So, yeah, I don't know if this audio commentary was helpful at all. Um, I could do 10 of these and talk about completely different aspects of this movie and still have material. So if you like this stuff, if this was helpful to you, if you think this helped you in any way for your next shoot, then let me know. Leave a like. And, yeah, maybe I do, like, a series. Like, maybe I can talk about... How to find a good actor, how to like storyboard, how to do the script, how to plan your shoot, stuff like that. I mean, this is not the right uh, short film for that because lots of stuff was like really quickly done. But yeah, maybe something like that will be interesting to you. If so, just let me know in the comments and definitely subscribe. Um, I'm getting like not bad views uh, for my latest videos, but the subscribers aren't going up anymore. And yeah, that annoys me. So if you're not subscribed, subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And yeah, there will be more content coming soon. I hope this was interesting to you. And I hope the setup worked out. Um, auto focus on the S5, audio on my Zoom recorder, and capturing the screen. I hope this worked. If you've seen this video, it did. And yeah, I talked way too much. See you in the next one. Bye, 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 bye.